August is National Black Owned Business Month, and all through the month, we are committed to shining a light on black owned businesses, making an impact in our community to help lift them up. So tonight, our Sandra Ali shows us how First Independence Bank has been doing that for decades. First Independence Bank was uh, founded in May of 1970. We're celebrating 50 years. We were one of the positive outcomes as a result of the 1967 riots. Uh, after the riots, there was a desire to really try to uh, create a financial uh, institution that would really be initially dedicated to serve the needs of the African American community. And um, a lot of community activists, uh, business leaders uh, got together and uh, went through the process of getting a bank charter and, and formed and founding uh, First Independence Bank. Demetrius Hutcherson is proud to be part of a business with a rich history and strong ties connected to Detroit. We initially were targeting and wanted to be here to service uh, African American, uh, African Americans and African American owned business owners. But as the bank grew and evolved, we are a full service bank with products to serve uh, all uh, of the Metro Detroit community. Hutcherson knows what makes them unique and sets them apart. We are truly located in the respective communities that we serve. We, were, we are still located in the respective communities that we serve, and our focus is to try and really be there to service uh, retail as well as co commercial customers. Like so many others in the community, they've had to pivot in the age of coronavirus. We had to really be cautious and careful of making sure our staff was healthy, yet we still wanted to maintain uh, and be open to service our customers. Given that we are critical infrastructure, we did. We had to uh, modify our hours and rotate staff in and out for their safety purposes, yet we still remain open to service the needs of, of our customers. We, we, did, we are doing more uh, online uh, activities, yet, and we're, we're meeting the needs of the customers. Now Hutcherson is looking ahead to a brighter future with bigger goals. As a kid that grew up on the Lower East Side of Detroit, we have to be here to meet the needs of our customers. They, they want to see uh, our bank uh, in the community and they, they want to they do business with us. We are experiencing uh, ex a, a, a phenomenal growth right now and it, it validates the need for First Independence to be in the community and to be around. Sandra Ali, Local 4.